bit late this year, but Samsung has finally launched the One UI 7 based on Android 15 beta a couple of days back. So today we are going to talk about the differences, features and visual changes in this upgrade which is claimed to be the major redesigned and overall version in the One UI history. First of all, you finally get a vertical app drawer with One UI 7. Next, in the recent tab, you get overlapping tabs instead of side by side earlier. It looks refreshing and while earlier you can see only two tabs at once, now you can see three at a glance. The widget section remains more or less the same in layout and design except few like the device scale where the storage and memory tabs are now aligned vertically instead of horizontal. Our notification panel got another visual overall as well. Corners are more round and the icon size has increased. The animations have been improved as well and the transitions are more fluid. Camera app has got its share of changes too. The setting, camera resolution, etc. bar have been moved to the bottom near the zoom bar, making it easier to reach. Seems like after deviating from its one hand usage policy in the One UI software, Sung now is on track again with One UI 7 for making the usage easier to use single handedly. All section has got icons along with just the names in the bottom. Another area of upgrade is the lock, lock screen. Just like before, you can change the clock style, font, you can resize and relocate it. In the widget section, you get few extra items and few extra filters to apply for the wallpaper. In the settings, inside the battery usage, in the power saving mode, you get motion smoothness, dark mode, screen timeout options as, as extra this time. In the lock screen setting, there is an option now bar with this upgrade. It is like a dynamic island, but at the bottom instead on the top. It shows live notifications like clock timer, voice recording, few Samsung health features, and the music playing. Another is this cool charging animation at the bottom once you plug in your charging cable. This time Samsung have redesigned the icons as well. These apply to the Samsung stock software like this call, gallery and camera icons. They are now more colorful and vibrant in design. Unlike before, when the Samsung software was boring and full of bloatwares, the company is now constantly improving on the software side too, be it the 7 years of software support, animations and smoothness to name a few. So this is all in this video. See you guys in the next video. Until then, keep watching and subscribing.